Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video, we will see how to get started with Microsoft Defender for cloud apps. To begin with, there are some prerequisites when you are initially deploying Microsoft Defender for cloud apps in your organization. So, in order for your organization to be in compliance for licensing Microsoft Defender for cloud apps, you must obtain a license for every user protected by Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. Please see the pricing details on Microsoft 365 licensing datasheet documentation. And after you have that license for Defender for Cloud Apps, you will receive an email with activation information and a link to the Defender for Cloud Apps portal. To set up Defender for Cloud Apps, you must be a global admin or a security admin in the Azure AD or Office 365. It's important to understand that a user who is assigned an admin role will have the same permission across all of the cloud apps that your organization has subscribed to. To run the Defender for Cloud Apps portal, you can use any internet browser. To access the portal, so let me just quickly log on to Microsoft 365 Defender portal and take it from there. Okay. I am logged on to the portal. If you will scroll through the left pan, email and collaboration, you will see cloud apps. Okay. Email and collaboration. Again, I'll go. You will see cloud apps, cloud discovery, cloud app catalog, OAuth apps, files, activities, governance log, etc. So, step one would be to set instant visibility, protection and governance actions for your cloud apps. So, in this portal, you go to settings, then choose cloud apps. And under connected apps, you will see... app connectors now when you want to have it you can click on connect an app here like we have Microsoft uh, collaboration you click on connect an app and then you will see different uh, application then you will have to follow the configuration step to connect an app so let's say you want to connect Atlassian so you will click on it, you will enter the instance name, whatever for now. Organization ID, API key, then that app will be under Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. Now, if you want to pro protect sensitive information with DLP policies, I'll just cancel it. You go to settings again. You click on cloud apps and then you will look for information protection. Here you see information protection under that you will see file select files and you see enable file monitoring and then you click on save. If you want to monitor office 365 files you need to enable it in the office 365 connector. You hit save and then you create file policies to meet the organization requirements. There are some migration recommendations. So Microsoft recommend that uh, using Defender for Cloud App sensitive information protection in parallel with the current cloud access uh, Caspi solution. So you, we start by connecting the apps that we want to protect to Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps using the app connectors that I just showed you. And then since API connectors use out of band connectivity, there will be no conflict. Then progressively we can migrate our policies from our current CASB solution to Defender for Cloud Apps. If you want to control Cloud Apps with policies and you want to create policies, then you will go under Cloud Apps on the Microsoft 365 Defender portal. You will choose policies here. You click on policy management or policy templates. You click on policy templates.
these are all the templates that we have we can choose a policy template from the list and then select plus icon to create the policy let's say administrative activity from a non-corporate ip address i choose this you click on this button to create a policy using this template it says create activity policy we can customize the policy we can select filters action and other settings and then choose create let's say i just elevated activity i just use the default options to whom that alert will be sent to i want to have this alert to be sent and as email as well i'll just mention the email address i'll just create and this policy will be created and to cover all the cloud environment security scenarios whatever are mentioned as a template we have to create a policy for each risk category okay and now how will policies help the organization we can use policies to help a monitor trends see security threats and generate customized reports and alerts with policies we can create governance actions and set data loss prevention and file sharing controls now if you want to set up cloud discovery you have to enable defender for cloud apps to view your cloud app use we have to integrate with the microsoft defender for endpoint to automatically enable defender for cloud apps to monitor windows 10 windows 11 devices inside and outside corporation and if you use z scaler integrate z scaler with defender for cloud apps and if you want to achieve full coverage you will have to create a continuous cloud discovery report how will you do that if you are micro, if you are in defender portal you click on settings you go to cloud apps and under uh, cloud discovery we have automated log upload under data sources we can add a source here by clicking on add data source on the log on the log collectors tab when you will add a data source on the log collectors tab we'll configure the log connector and if you want to create a snapshot cloud discovery report under the portal go go under cloud apps choose cloud discovery i'm not seeing that option to okay it's asking me so there is an option here where you can create a cloud discovery snapshot report and why sh why should you discover why should you configure cloud discovery reports so it will give you a visibility into a shadow it in your organization because after the logs are analyzed we can easily find which cloud apps are being used by which people and on which devices so it will give you a holistic view of how users are accessing your applications but for now you have but for that to happen you have to integrate all those apps using app connectors with microsoft defender for cloud apps i hope this uh, was informative for all of you if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day